Happy Monday, everybody. It's Coach Elizabeth here with Monday Morning Manifestation. And on today's show, we're going to talk about the power of your thoughts and more specifically, a little bit about the law of attraction. So anybody who's ever watched Oprah in their life or heard of the book, The Secret is familiar with law of attraction. But if there's anybody who isn't familiar, the law of attraction is basically saying that like items will be brought together. So things that vibrate on the same frequency will be drawn together. So if you think positive thoughts, positive things will happen onto you. If you focus on negative thoughts, more negative things will come into your life. So it sounds pretty simple, but I know when I first started studying the law of attraction, it seemed a little tricky because I thought I'm thinking of all these things that I want and why don't I have them yet? So I wanted to chat about that today, and we're going to pull some wisdom from this amazing book. This is Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. They study um, the law of attraction, and Esther was kind of a medium for this dude, Abraham Hicks, who was, you know, the spirit to use her kind of like if you were channeling somebody who had passed. Um, and she basically wrote all of his teachings um, from our non-physical realm, right? So source energy is kind of how they talk about it. But you guys, life changing book. I know that I say that often, but no shit. If you're gonna buy any of the books that I recommend and you're gonna study up on anything, do this. And even if you don't want to buy the book, she has so many amazing excerpts from her conferences and workshops on YouTube. You can listen to them on your way to work in the morning or when you're on a plane getting ready to take off. Anytime you have some downtime, you guys listen to these. It's incredible. It has completely changed my life. There's everything before this book and everything after. So I highly, highly recommend it. But specifically, I wanted to talk about how some people can feel like their prayers aren't being answered, basically. So you want something, you want something. And Esther and Abraham basically say that when something bad in our life, which they call contrast happens, right? Any sort of obstacle or resistance, it creates this feeling, right? And it's usually a negative feeling that feels uncomfortable. But out of that negative feeling, we figure out exactly what we do want. Right. So it's the idea that we have to know what we don't want in order for us to know what we do want in order for us to expand, which is the whole reason that everybody's on this earth. Right. Is to expand and become more conscious. So what, what, what happens then when people say I'm thinking about something and it's not happening? Well, there could be a couple of things at play here. The first is that you're focusing on your lack of something rather than the emotional feeling that you get when you think about something that you want. So for instance, you say, I want a new car, but then you focus on how the car you currently have is a piece of shit and it breaks down. It doesn't have all these things that you want on it. That's what you focus on. Well, that's what you're going to get more of. You're going to get stuck in that shitty car versus, wow, how would it feel to be driving whatever your dream car is, right? I can feel my hands on the steering wheel. I can smell it. I can hear the engine rev. How does that make you feel? It probably makes you feel pretty hopeful, pretty excited, um, and pretty joyous, right? Proud, maybe. So that's what you need to be focusing on, right? Are those really positive feelings. Forget about the car you're driving right now. Pretend when you're driving that car, you're driving the dream car instead. That's what she teaches in this book is really the key to manifesting things very quickly. Anytime your brain starts to go to that negative place, you got to snap, snap it out of it because whatever you're telling yourself will be your reality. She says that <clears throat> a belief is just a thought that we keep telling ourselves. It's a thought we keep thinking. So the steps are we think positive thoughts, even if we, even if we don't think they're realistic, you're going to slowly brainwash yourself here. You're going to train your thoughts to say, you know what? I can be a millionaire or, or whatever it is that you want. I can be a supermodel. I can be an actor. I can be whatever. And when you start telling yourself that over and over and over again, it becomes a belief. Once you really believe that and you send out that order to the universe, then that's when you'll actually get it on its way to you. It might not manifest instantaneously, but it will start coming down the road, right? It'll start making its way towards you. But here's the other way that people screw themselves. They get pissed off that they haven't gotten it yet. 
So they say, I'm thinking positive energy. I'm thinking positive thoughts, Elizabeth. It's not happening. It's not happening quick enough. And I say, come on now. That doesn't mean you should stop thinking about it or or wanting it or wishing for it. Because what you've just done is this thing's on its way to you and you just threw up a huge roadblock. You said, nope, I don't want it anymore. I'm going to start focusing on the negative shit again. So it turns around and it goes back home the other way. And this thing could be just waiting here. This car, this opportunity, your career opportunity, advancement, this person that you want to manifest in your life as a partner, business, or you know, some sort of relationship, this person is in this purgatory because you keep changing your thought patterns. Whereas it is vibrational law, if you keep thinking positive thoughts, eventually it has to come to you. It will come into your existence and it will manifest in a real way that you can see it, smell it, taste it. It'll be there. But you have to believe and you have to stay in that wonderful positive space of how you feel when you get it. You have to act as if, as if it is already yours. And don't tell anybody then, you know, if, they, if they're if they going to say, oh, that's crazy or, oh, you're never going to have that or whatever. Just keep it to yourself and keep your happy thoughts then. But that is my tip for you this week. Find something in your life, a desire that you have that you really want to manifest and then focus, feel how you're going to feel when you actually get it and try to stay in that space all week long. And the second part is buy this book. <laughs>